Hey guys, it's Sophie. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my favorite perfume. The theme is magical perfume and uh, these four perfumes, in my opinion, are the most magical and smell the best. So let's get into so the video. I'm going to be judging the perfume by three criteria. The design, uh, the smell, obviously, uh, and where you can wear it, how many events it's capable of making you smell good. I don't know. Okay, so let's First, get into I'm going it. to be smelling this. This is the Dot Marc Jacobs. It's The design is amazing. It's super cool, so I would give it a 10 out of 10 for the design. It's amazing. So, um, now let's smell it. Again because right now it smells like just like alcohol. Oh, oh, it smells really good. So this is like super, like it's not super sweet. Like it's like in between. So for the smell, I would give it a seven out of ten. And just for the events that I can wear to, like you can wear it on a regular, but I think it will be super strong. Like you can, it's more of a fancy perfume. So I would put it on how many events? I would give it a 5 out of 10. So here is the final score. It's going to be somewhere here of this perfume. Now let's get on to the other ones. So here I have one of my favorite. This is the Paris 92 Champs et Rennes. I don't know how it's called. Zara. This is from Zara. Um, it's super nice. The design is very simple, but um, I will give them credits from for like this very like top i love the color of this and just the color right here uh, so it's like a basic but you can just throw it in your purse or your backpack so i would give this for the design um, a six out of ten so now let's smell it okay it smells really good yeah, the smell is amazing. It's like sweet and not sweet. Uh, it's I love it. It's like super fresh. So I would give it, for the smell, I would give it a mm, 9 out of 10. For the design, as I said, uh, 6 or 5 out of 10. And for the occasions I could wear it, I would give it a 7 out of 10. Do, 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 do. Okay, well, let's go. On to the second one, we have Coco Chanel Mademoiselle Chanel Paris. So this is a really, I really like the design because it's super basic. For the design, I would definitely give it a a out of ten because it's such. I love the top again, and it has like this little Chanel logo over here. So for the smell, I feel like it's super strong, and I would give it like a, a five out of ten. For the events that you can wear, I would give it a 8 out of 10. So here is the score. And here we have the Victoria's Secret Endless Night Fragrance Mist Bruma Perfume. I love this so much. This I wear it every freaking day. It smells... Oh, it smells so good. So for the design, I would give it like a 3 out of 10 because it's not fancy, it's, pla it's plastic, but I still love the, the top because here it says Victoria's Secret. I would give it like a 3 out of 10. Uh, for the smell, I would definitely give it a 10 out of 10. It's amazing. And for the events that you can wear it, I would give it a 6 out of 10. So here uh, are all of the... So here is the final score of this one. Okay, here is the final score of this perfume. And here is the final score of this perfume. And here is the final score of this perfume. So, who won? Which perfume won? Do you think uh, I judged it correctly?